Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Marisa. In today's video, we're going to be doing some stamping and stenciling with these beautiful BB Craft products. So let's get started. Hey guys, so as usual, I just want to thank BB Craft for sponsoring this video. Thank you so much, BB Craft. Their website will be in the description below, as well as my affiliate links to these amazing products. I am so happy with them. I love this. And they have a YouTube program where if you have 100 subscribers or more, you can join their YouTube program. And I have a code, WetPaint5, where you could save $5 off of a $40 purchase. All right, so let's get started. So let's talk about these beautiful products. I love her, this beautiful mermaid stencil, the 12 by 12. However, the shipping is a, was a real problem. It was very, very, you know, folded and it was really hard to use. So just a little constructive criticism when you ship it, please don't bend it BB Craft because it kind of made it very hard to use. And I love the stencil, uh, the stamping tool, sorry. I love that, so we're gonna do that next. Okay, so this is what I used for the actual the stenciling we're doing first. These are some of the products I used the Liquitex Medium and the some Arteza Silver and Sallow Blue. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what I did and how I use this stencil. Okie dokie, so that is up next. Alright, so first I put down the Liquitex Medium, okay, and here it is right here, and I use that little palette with the brush, hi BB Craft, and I use two to three layers of the Liquitex Medium to really set down this stencil. Next, here are the colors I use, the Arteza Fallow Blue, Artist Loft Black, and the Arteza Silver. And I'm mixing the black and the silver with the phthalo blue. I'm just mixing that up with my brush in the palette. And now we are gonna paint over the stencil. So basically just letting you know that in between the layers of the Liquitex Medium, I did let them dry first. So each layer of the medium, I let it almost fully dry until I put the next layer. After the third layer, I let it fully dry and before I started painting. Now, as you see here, I'm not brushing it on, I'm actually stippling the paint on because I want to make sure it may not look it in the video because I sped it up a little bit. Um, so the video is not too long, but I am taking my time really making sure I do not get underneath the stencil so it's not smudging, okay? And underneath there's actually a canvas board which I painted uh, with some beautiful like aqua blues and purples and a little ombre um, style. And now I'm just continuing to stipple all of the paints, the phthalo blue, the black, and the silver with the brush. And we continue to do that all over the canvas. And then after this step, I am gonna add a little highlights because I wanted a little more silver to pop out. The silver just kind of mixed in with the black and the black and the blue kind of overpowered everything. But I do want the black for a beautiful contrast with the beautiful um, aqua blues and purples underneath on the canvas board. And I actually got that canvas board at the Dollar Tree and it's actually a really great canvas board. And you also see here, I had to use some double sticky tape to really hold down the stencil because it was just folding too much. I really need something to hold it down. So I'm just gonna finish up painting with the black and the blue. And then next, I am gonna add a little silver with Arteza paint and we're gonna add some highlights. 
Okay, so here is the Arteza paint. I'm just putting in certain spots just to highlight certain areas really quickly. And then after I am done with the silver paint, I am actually going to let this paint dry fully before I start taking off the double sticky tape and taking off the stencil itself because I want it to really come out perfectly. I don't want any smudges underneath. I want the lines of the stencil to be very crisp. So let's let this dry and I will be back. Okay guys, so I am back. And yes, I painted that with the uh, some beautiful colors, aqua blues and purples. And again, this is a canvas board. I didn't want to pour because it does warp the canvas board. So this is how she came out. It actually came out perfectly, um, but I did have to really work hard with the stencil because it was bent so badly. And this Liquitex really saved the day with the brush from Artsy Farty Lovers. And I did three coats, like I said, I did let them dry in between each coat. That's really important. It almost acted like a glue to hold down that stencil and gives you really crisp lines. But I love the way she came out. I am so happy with it. Um, yeah, I'm just really happy with it. And no matter what, you know, it just didn't get flat even with the books laying down. But, and I can't use it with paper because I just can't use all that medium. All that Liquitex medium to hold it down. It's gonna be really hard to use it on paper. So I'm just gonna use it on paintings, which is fine but it's absolutely beautiful. She came out perfectly. I love the little silver highlights and I'm really happy with it. Okay, so up next, I'm gonna give you a quick little tutorial using the stamping tool, all right? So this paper here, it's some really cool, like kind of antique-y um, cream colored paper. I believe it's from Michael's Recollections. I just fold it in half. So I'm gonna pick a stamp from the stamp set that I got from AliExpress and I love that typewriter one. It is really beautiful. It just kind of really gives me obviously antique vibes, vintage, I love that. So I'm just gonna take that off of the plastic and I am going to lay it down on the stamping tool. I'm just picking where I want it. I'm gonna keep it straight and you have that grid there. So I'm just gonna make it a little straighter and then we're gonna fold it over and see where it lands on the paper. Okay, that's fine. So now I'm gonna take one more stamp. I'm gonna take that butterfly and we are gonna lay it down in another spot. Okay, and we're gonna see where that lands on the paper before you stamp it, which is cool. And it's a little over the edge, so I'm just gonna shift it really quick. Just move it over. All right. And I'm going to check it one more time, see where it lands on the paper, and that's perfect. So now we're going to take our inks. I have this beautiful, um, like this chocolate espresso brown, I believe it is. And I'm just going to really ink up the acrylic clear stamp, ink it really, really well. And just kind of press it into the stamp as much as you want. Sometimes with a vintage look, uh, it being a little like sheer with the inks is great, but I always kind of go a little overboard with the inks, make sure that it um, is inked well. So I'm gonna take, that is called Tuxedo Black, and I'm just gonna go over the typewriter stamp. And then I'm actually going to layer it with some uh, espresso brown. I like to mix my ink sometimes. So I'm gonna take that espresso brown, ink that over really well, just kind of blend it. I like doing that. And there it is. Okay. And I got some on the paper, sorry. <laughs> I'm clumsy. So now you're just gonna adjust the paper where exactly where you want it and just fold it over on the paper and then press down. And I press down kind of hard, I'm a little heavy handed, but I just wanna make sure all that ink gets on the paper as much as possible. 
and all the little, you know, because it is very detailed. These stamps happen to be uh, very detailed, so I just want to make sure that the whole design gets on the paper. I'm just pressing and pressing until I'm happy with it, because you can see uh, how the ink is going through on the paper. And there it is. So I really like the way this came out. The edges, I didn't get some of the edges, but that's okay. And of course I smudged it a little bit, but it really came out beautiful. Look how gorgeous that is. And with the vintage look, it's fine. I really love the combination of the black and the brown. I think it came out really, really nice. And you can either cut them out or you can use it as a card. So I may cut them out. So I love the way I love the stamping tool. It really worked beautifully. I'm really, really happy with it. I wanted one for a while. And look, all the ink came off. I think it's a perfect tool, and I absolutely love, love, love it. Okay, guys, that is it. That's my tutorials for today. I hope you enjoyed it, and thank you so, so much for watching. And thanks again to BB Craft. Don't forget to check out all the links below thanks again for watching and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos and i'll see you in the next one bye